All right, we got here a 2023 Toyota Camry. It's a hybrid. It's from the auction. The customer complaint is it doesn't start. So let's see what we got here. All right, the battery's charged. Um, all right, the dash light's up. So a hybrid would just say ready. It wouldn't say, it wouldn't necessarily crank, but it definitely doesn't say ready. It's just the ignition on. All right, let's plug in the scan tool, see what we have. It did say over there, hybrid system malfunction and braking power low. All right, let's see what we got. Pre-collision, LTA unavailable. Just do an auto scan, see if I can read the car. Alright, read the computer. That's a step. We got three codes in the hybrid control, four in the ABS. All right, what do we got here? We have a high voltage system interlock performance or incorrect operation. So that's those plugs that have to get put in. Um, we have in the interlock brakes, we have okay, just a malfunction for the high voltage. So before I even look at a diagram or look up this code, I'm just gonna take a peek at these interlocks. Oh, I think they're in the trunk. Don't see it here. Here's the 12 volt battery. All right, let me go look it up where it is. All right, so it looks like the battery service hole cover is under the rear seat. And there's another one up here. There's a lot of mosquitoes. Up here, that is right. I guess it's coming, this is the high voltage cable. And it's going into here. And this is going into there, but I don't see an actual interlock. So it just looks like it's gonna be right here. It should be an interlock. Oh, I see it, it's open. Okay. Right here is the interlock. Is it in good? It didn't feel like it wasn't good to me. Um, let's put it in like this. Yeah, see that has to be pushed up. Now it should be in good. Let's see. Let's see if we can start this thing now. Yep. And it's ready. So that was the whole thing. All right, I'm sorry. It moves. It reverses. Charging the battery. That's it. So I actually seen this many times before, not in this car, but a lot of times it's really just the simple things that, you know, people get scared off. They see interlock circuits and half the time it's just the uh, technician just didn't put it in all the way because it has to go in and then you put the plug in and have to push it up or down to make the interlock circuit engage. 
So that's all I got for now. All right, thanks for watching.